Alright, welcome to TMF Live, a live episode of Monthly Flow and uh, the news this month, the uh, Olympic Games have just started, also known as the 2012 Olympic Games of London. And basically uh, there's been a lot of hoo-ha because uh, basically the, the security company G4S didn't employ enough security guards and whatnot and there's a lack of um, security guards obviously. Plus, probably uh, leaving the contestants very vulnerable to all sorts of shit. I'm talking to security guards, there's this guy I know called Adam. He works as a security guard, but I'm not too sure what company he works for. But see if he works for G4S, he's going to get fucking pounders so he is. Um, talking about the London 2012 Olympic Games, we've got a gameplay uh, from the Mario and Sonic at London 2012 Games, so uh, keep out. Keep watching out for that one. Um, what else? Uh, newsy. Um, I'm going to uh, Birmingham uh, for episode 8. Uh, basically, it's because there's this event I'm going to, and I'm probably going to document quite a lot of it. It's the event called the uh, Auto Assembly. Every other country calls it Botcon, it's a Transformers event. But this auto assembly, it's Europe's biggest Transformers uh, gathering. Uh, having all sorts of stuff, guests, like uh, the voiced actors and whatnot, and even like uh, autograph signings and whatnot. So I'm definitely going there. The journey itself to get there is about nearly eight hours and it's horrible. It's actual fucking horrible. There's this guy slabbering on the microphone on the bus. Oh, we're arriving in Hamilton, Carlisle, Milton Keynes, wherever the fuck it goes. Right? And he, he slept us all the way through the night, so you're trying to get asleep 3 a.m. We're now approaching Preston. Like, fuck off, I don't really want to know about that. But it's going to be a long, arduous journey, and it's going to be fucking worth it. So if the journey doesn't kill me, I'll, I'll fucking enjoy all assembly. So that's the news for this month. Now we're going to be going on to the music review. Basically, there was this song that came out roughly about four weeks ago and went straight to uh, number one in the UK charts. It's a, it's a song called Somebody I Used to Know. And the guy uh, who wrote it, or sung it, whatever it is, a guy called Got You. And he, he co done that with a person called uh, Kimbra. But basically, obviously, the song uh, got released in 2012, July-ish, and it went up into number one. But I think it's a really, really, really good uh, tune. I believe it's like a kind of pop slash electronic tune, but I'll let you have a quick listen to it before I go any further. Much 
how long I've been on ya. We're going to be moving on to the rank love poems. And before I, I go any further, no, I didn't have chlamydia or get chlamydia or I didn't have any associations with chlamydia. Chlamydia sounds like a country, did you know that? Anywho, right. Roses are dead, violets are blue, I have chlamydia and now so do you. And this one was from an experience at a cat house, right? You're an emo, you're a fucking minger, but I'm so horny I wanna give you a finger. And now we're moving on to the book review. That's on a, a, a similarly saucy note. The Fifty Shades of Grey. It just went fucking mad in July, I mean like, it got released and everyone was talking about it being like a really, really naughty book and I was like, you know what, I'm a naughty wee bastard so I need a naughty wee book to look at. And basically, I'll, I'll tell you the premise about it, it's, this, uh, it's about this lassie called Anastasia and there's also a sub-character, her friend, but I'll not talk about sub-character because she's a wanker. But, um, Basically, Anastasia gets employed by this guy called Grey, and within time, they end up growing a wee thing for each other. But uh, obviously, they have sexual relations, but he like, becomes slightly violent. Slightly, a <laughs> slight mass, but anywho, what I read so far, uh, what I read so far is pretty eye watering. But I'll give you a wee uh, excerpt to tempt you to buy it. Do, 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 do. It's just round about here. I, I'm so professional, aren't I? Fucking losing the page. <laughs> Fucking hell, what am I like? Got your attention now, haven't I? I know. Answer me! Yes, you got my attention. Good. He, he smiles at a knowing smile. So sexual acts, we've done most of this. I moved closer to him on the couch and got hands down the list. Appendix 3, masturbation, cunnilingus, palatial, solemn spunk, vaginal intercourse, vaginal fisting, anal intercourse and anal fisting. No fisting, you say. Anything else you object to? Yes. Softly, I swallow. You know what? Intercourse doesn't exactly float my boat, she says. And neither does it with me. I'll agree to the fisting, but I, I'd really like to climb your ass, ass, Anastasia. But we'll wait for that. Besides, it's not something we can dive into. He smirks at me. Your ass need, will need training. Training, I remember? Oh yes, will need careful preparation. Any intercourse can be very pleasurable, trust me. I'll leave it to him, for him to decide then. But anywho, it is quite an a eye-watering book. I mean, it's that popular. People are sitting reading it on trains and buses and whatnot. But I tell you something, it would be a rather tad awkward if a guy read it, because they would hit a boner. And it would be pure embarrassing to hit a bone in public, wouldn't it? Right. Especially on a fat bus and everyone knows you've got a bone and they're like, Wah. Or they'll be like, let's grind it! <laughs> but anywho, uh, I'll move on to the guest. Take back your bum, yes. Don't worry, I'm not going to analyse you or anything. <laughs> So, Craig, how did you find such a debauched person such as myself? I don't know. We, we met in Clytchel Mother. Did we? Yeah. Yeah. Aye, we met we, uh, volunteering on Monday uh, down at a place called Clytchel Mobility and basically um, they hand out like kind of um, wheelchairs and mobility products to people who um, 
have mobility issues and whatnot, and basically, um, basically I'm a handy person. I, I, I fix them and uh, make sure they're actually in a fit condition before going out and whatnot, and I also sign them out. And you pretty much do the same, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. It's quite, it's quite awesome in there, isn't it? Yeah, it's something they can get for. Okay. Like any place, to be honest, but it's only a banter that goes on in there as, as a belter. Yeah. See, in a Friday, have you been in a Friday when, um, like, Wendy and Muddy are in? Yeah. Oh, it's a fucking belter. Yeah. And uh, Wendy's quite a dark horse, but you love her for it. I can make quite a dark horse myself. <laughs> now, I don't know if you were in that day, um, was it on Monday? Were you in on Monday? When Willie brought in the candy tea, tea girls? I'm not going to answer that phone. Right. But um, basically on Monday, uh, Willie brought candy peckers in. And we were all sitting candy pe peckers like fucking this day. And then the uh, I took a pink pecker. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I looked proper wrong. <laughs> then uh, Simon was like, Are you going to be uploading a picture to some website? And I was like, Why not? I think there's a picture on my phone, but it's too rank for this time of night. But anywho, um, I'll be moving on to final thoughts in a minute, but uh, is there anything you want to say before I move on? No. But, um, aye, so it was just like uh, February I started that uh, voluntary number, one. Just after Christmas. Aye. Now it is the summer. Aye, so we've been doing that nearly like, six months and it's been pretty good. And it's been like six months. And I've done it. It's the best way for it. Yeah. But, um, I've been eating more of that than a few later. <laughs> Yeah. But anyway, I'll move on to the final thoughts. Um, thanks for tuning in to another mad episode, but this one's live, so mad shit was happening all the time throughout it. But um, thanks for tuning in, and remember to subscribe and comment and whatnot, and be fucking gentle, please. <laughs> but, um, aye. And also we've got our Facebook group, so if, if you want to uh, subscribe to that, please do so, and plus you're going to uh, not miss out banter between the episodes, and you'll get information on uh, what's going on be before each episode's going up, so I'll catch you later guys, peace out. 8405000, PPI helpline. They help people with PPI, I think. Hopefully they'll answer. PPI are in real fitting royals. Aye. Bastards aren't answering. Fuck that.